Yoink. Yay, again. Yoink. I tried a dojo run with all my buffs for the first time. Now that my t arcanes are all 22'd. I did fuck up like many things here and there and I had like a 10 second time loss because I accidentally messed up my binds and magic crashes on Empress. But that's my new record. Woo! <laughs> For those that forgot, uh, my previous record was 61 F, 13 minutes, 48 seconds or something like that. Uh, so I went up two floors. Still can't compete against Victor and his enormous bursts, but uh, this, this gap should have been closer if I didn't mess up super hard on Empress. Just saying. <laughs> oh, fuck. I just realized I didn't swap one of my drop ends. <laughs> God damn it! Hello everybody, I'm right here. I freaking did it! No more 22 star forcing on stress. Oh my god, I can't believe I freaking did it. The amount of muscles I spent for uh, getting to it was pretty good, which really paralleled with the rest of my arcanes. Hands down, star forcing is still my least favorite. Uh, upgrade system, but I don't really give a shit anymore because I'm done! So, what have I been doing in the meantime? Uh, well, I just finished a two-hour training session because I had some 3x's expiring. I've also been selling my meso in the meso market to get more maple points, but uh, I got a little bit too greedy at that point. I also did a whole bunch of star forcing for my kind, which you guys can check out in This is a kind moment for those that don't know, I'm not necessarily second maining a kind, but it's definitely going to be a funded character that's much more funded than like, you know, a typical Legion meal and stuff like that. But more importantly for you guys, uh, my kind videos is basically a series on like how I would have funded myself if I were to start playing the game like one or two years ago instead of like when I started, like six and a half years ago. That's crazy still. Just saying that makes my mind go numb because it's like wait six and a half years is such a long time but yeah overall i have just been relaxing and feeling great this is the first time where i legit just feel so free from this game i genuinely feel the happiest i've ever been now that i've like reached this pinnacle of god-awful bullshit <laughs> upgrade systems. That being said though, I, I did talk about working on Akana's ring for fun just because of like the whole oh, best and slut thing and uh, it would be nice to have you know four rings that are 22 stars. I am down to try this out uh, but I am not going to stress out about it like I did with my arcanes. Oh yeah speaking of after all the star forcing happened uh, I went to go watch a friend star force and he kept booming and booming like his uh cape and his shoulder and stuff like that they were absolab so they weren't like super expensive to replace but even then like it's it's just not fun it, it's just so shit like that could have been me you know like i i said before i got technically lucky but i still don't feel good so yeah that's why i hate star forcing anyways i currently have four kana's rings i believe yeah four and uh, there's still about like two and a half hours left of 5, 10, 15. However, none of my uh, rings are well scrolled. And usually how I like to do things is I like to finish scrolling first, then Star Force, and then yada, yada, yada. Now, the problem is uh, with primes and all, there are no more protection scrolls from elite bosses. So the cost of getting a protection scroll is whatever it is in Mesos to get the 5.5k maple points. So that's pretty expensive to prime. Uh, however, there is another option, which is maybe to X scroll. However, accessory scrolls are just pure attack, which it's nice, but seven bill for one of them. So it, it would technically cost me Oh god, 21 bill just to do some scrolling with X's? So no, that is not 
I'm not going to do that. But we are going to go back to our trusty eye cogging, and I have a whole bunch of coins on my hero just to do that. Unfortunately, I am out of golden hammers and innocent scrolls, so uh, <laughs> I have to spend some mesos on them. I'm going to budget... how much are they? 30 mil and then immediately 35. I'll budget... Let's do 15 Innocent Scrolls for now, uh, just to see. And the good thing is I do have four rings to play around with, so it's not like I have to immediately Innocence a ring once I uh, miserably fail some eye cogging. But I did actually get two uh, things to pass, so I want to grab some eye cogs, and let's see if we can get some good luck. No, ah. So unlike my badge and my shoulder, I'm thinking I'm going to accept anywhere between, say, four to six attack. But if I do get four and five, I do want a good amount of uh, strength. So anywhere between three and four strength as well with the four and five. Uh, if I get the plus six and there's no uh, strength, I guess I'll also take it. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to figure all of that stuff out anyways. So let's go down the line here and let's... Ooh. I don't like that. Uh, I want I want to uh, innocence all of these scrolls. Uh, sorry, these rings first. We're gonna get, pick up four, and I'm gonna go down the line and see if I end up getting a plus six anywhere. So let's see, plus three, plus three. That's respectable, but that's also not excellent. Plus four, plus two. That's respectable. Plus two. Oh no, that's not good enough. And plus four and nothing. So currently this is my best one yet. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to try and hammer this. Fail. And one more. Okay, cool. It passed. And uh, let's try to get another pet to pass. So now the condition is I want this to get another good roll. And then that way I only have to worry about in owing sorry cssing and return scrolling one slot yikes all right so it's time to inno everything again uh oh oh okay <laughs> at least that happened ah okay so we got two rings and i'm going to go grab two more again so let's see here pass plus six pl oh my god I wish th those strength and attack flipped. How about you? Plus six magic. <gasps> no! <laughs> That's so tragic. If that was strength and attack, I would have gladly returned scroll two slots. Oh, that hurts. I'm telling you guys, my character was destined to be a mage all along. This is why I really should just go and do all the upgrading for my int friends. All right. So, I'm willing to drop a little bit more meso for this. Uh, I don't really have a budget, but I would like to have, you know, a, a whole bunch of meso to sell for maple points, because my main focus is going to be my Genesis weapon and my bee pots. This is just sort of a fun thing to do on the side, and I am having fun! Let's pick up a few more. I still have a lot of coins and a lot of uh, icogs to go through, so it's okay. Although, failing all of these is not okay. Nothing. And... Plus two, plus two. I'm not happy about that. But since these two rings failed, I am going to go ahead and hammer these to see if I uh, can get a slot. Because might as well. Ooh, this one... No luck. Alright, this one passed. Nice. And this one? Ah, uh, okay. No, it's alright. So let's go ahead and try this out again. And let's see. Plus two, plus one. Not good. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, okay. Let's see how this one goes. Plus four and no strength. All right, I suppose this is going to be my last uh, one for now. So, yeah, I'm not going to worry about this too much. 
And uh, like I said, I don't really want to Star Force until I have a, some ICOGs going for it. Just because the cost of return scrolling is just going to be too much. So I'd rather, you know, get the proper procedure done. Yikes. Okay. So I'm going to stop here. Unfortunately, I didn't get uh, the roll I wanted. Best I got was a plus six attack and plus one strength. And then after that, I still didn't even get anything good afterwards. So, oh well. I just want to show how much this 22 star shoulder really meant to me and how badly I wanted it. So this is my current inventory, right? This was after all the eye cogging and buying innocent scrolls and stuff like that. I don't have any money in storage, but I still had this meal, this meal, and this meal. So I had over 120 bill and nine backups going in on the shoulder, which is way more overkill than the arcanes that I have done. But, uh... Yeah, that's how badly I wanted to stop Star Forcing. I just hate it. But it's no longer a concern of mine. And like I've said, I'm so happy. And all of that mess is now gonna go towards uh, Maple Points and funding for my Genesis weapon and all that other stuff. And I I'm just on cloud nine. <laughs> oh my god, I may have finally gotten a flame that's sellable for a pat mark 64 and 5 that means it's gonna be what 70 and 5 i i can't remember the conversion rate or what it gets upgraded to on transposition but man it sure takes a hell lot more time to get flame rolls on these things with free flames now the question is how much does it go for <laughs> okay so a 68 and 6 int flame has been sold for 2.25 bill mine's not as good as that a 72 and 5 got sold for a bill what the fuck so i'm guessing the flame itself is oh my holy crap a 92 and 4 that's crazy! Here's a 68 and 5 that got sold for 1.5 bill. 92 and 4 legendary for 5. 68 and 6 for 2. Okay, so the flame itself can be worth anywhere between 1 to 2 bill. Leaning more on the 2 bill side, it feels like. Here's a 56 and 5 for 500 mil, but I sure hope nobody's buying these, like, sort of two-line flames, because I don't feel like... If you're going through the effort of transposing and all that, it's just, like, might as well go all out, don't half-ass it. Oh, here's a 68 and 5 for 1.3 bill, but I don't know what the heck that is that scrolling. That looks like ICOGs. 72 and 5 for 1.4. Okay, so this is a good one to gauge off of. So if I price the flame at, say, we'll say around like 1-ish, 1.2-ish bill, I'd say. And then if I add the clean legendary potential. Oh, wait. I went through all of this trouble just to find a very similar flame. 2.5 bill? 3 bill? Okay. I suppose I will start with a 3 bill price and I'm gonna see what happens. But if it's 3 bill, I'm going to say this was absolutely not worth all the effort and patience <laughs> to uh, sell and make and whatever. Because I could have made two or three bill really easily doing other things with that uh, amount of resources that was spent on the pat marks. So results of experimentation says don't do it. <laughs> Who knows though, uh, I could get really lucky later down the road and just get much better flames. I th Honestly, if I end up on a really, really good flame, yeah, for sure. But, you know, how many flames is that going to take and how much time is that going to take? Considering I want to do it off of free flames. It also gauges on how lucky I can get right so for this type of meso making i'm going to categorize it under the making kind of mid game slash end game equip category which is a category of uh merching that i am not super experienced in and i don't really like it so for my own personal uh meso making methods i would rate this really really low on my 
uh, ways of making meso personally. But I still have two more pat marks to work on, so uh, we'll see how the next one goes then. Selling's going well. I am training up my last redemption of Mitra's 3x coupon it's from the compensation. So this has been nice, uh, but if you look at my XP, I am actually going to schedule to level in about like an hour or so. So I just wanted to record that moment, and I think I will be uh, level 271 going into Neo. I've been in some talks about uh, maybe possibly joining a Saren party already. Uh, although the party is trying to be the first party to beat Saren, so I don't think I'm gonna be a likely candidate to be in that party, but it's still nice to be, you know, put into consideration. Holy shit, I almost didn't notice I was actually gonna level. <laughs> I was just like freaking mind all numbed and everything, but woo! Level 271! So I had a fun four hours of training. Not. Oh man, I just can't. <laughs> but uh, I do have five AP and uh, I'm a little curious about it. I'm wondering if I could set a goal for like the end of my funding, but at the same time, I don't want to like hard set it. Like I have to get there because then, you know, sort of Many bad things will come out of it, like obsession and also just uh, impracticality. Because sometimes there's this thing that I like to call stat whores, where these... And it applies mostly to whales, though. But, like, these stat whores, they would roll, like, a really good three-line potential or, like, a flame or just... Just, they'll see, like, upgrade options. And even though, like, there will be an upgrade option that's, like, as good as like pure stat or just even straight up better they'll be like no 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 i don't want that i only want stat because i want my number to go big and that shows that my pp is big too <laughs> so like if i if i set a like stat goal for the end of road to max damage i don't want it to be just like strictly because i need to do it that way i want a practical stat goal and in terms of like achieving it and the sense of it as well. Anyways, case in point though, I want to go ahead and uh, rebuff myself. I lost some stat just now? What happened? Oh, I think my pet buff expired. That's fine. Uh, but I do want to see what happens when I add 5 AP. So, hmm, it adds 100. It might be doable. I don't think it will happen. In fact, I don't think it's actually possible unless I really overhaul a lot of shit. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna throw this idea out the window. I also have, like, this inflated stat in my B-pot in, uh, the emblem. But I was gonna say, maybe I should try to aim for 80k strength. Uh, but, nah. Anyways, apart from that, I was thinking a little bit about min-maxing, and I ended up just thinking about my medal, because I've had this Black Swordsman medal for the longest time now and I never really pursued any other medals just because I was like ah I want just this one because this is my favorite one of them all and the difference between uh the other medals or whatever like this is technically like a really good best in slot medal but it's not the best in slot medal the best in slot medal right now is the monster park one which is this one, and this is my progress on it. You can see which days I definitely prioritized here. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should start pursuing this to get, you know, just another 10% uh, IED. But my IED is already pretty high, thanks to uh, this main pot here. And, like, I'm, I'm just thinking, like, oh, well, maybe I should, you know, redo my emblem and get the three line attack and that will bring me up in like a lot of uh, final damage and stuff like that i just don't know if i really want to you know it's gonna take a lot of work you know and like i would just like to you know work on the other stuff that i set my goal for first before i go and do any other crazy thing i guess the point i wanted to make was like you know as much as uh i am getting close to my funding goal of finishing my equips in here and there. I am always thinking about like, oh, but what 
can I do to make my character even stronger and stuff like that. But now the difference, because I'm at this stage, is like, hmm, is that worth my time and effort? To which the answer right now is no. I think I should, like, sort of break the mode now and start doing it. So, you know what, I'm, just, I'm gonna go ahead and just whatever, you know, for just... Fuck it, let's go. Why not? This will be fun anyways, and I could get an extra 10% IED source. I did a stack comparison between the Black Swordsman medal and the 7 Day Monster Parker medal. It says 0.55% final damage of a difference for the 7 Day Monster Parker medal. So I'm just like, uh, I guess, you know, like, since I have all this free stuff anyways. Anyways, this is probably what I'm gonna be working on for the next little while. Alrighty, I have finally hit the max rank for the event. VIP Prestige. I do get this cool little, uh, medal, but it's not really useful for me, so I'm probably gonna give it to a meal or something just for fun. But I do have- oh, it's in storage. I have the two flame packages over here. And uh, I thought maybe I could show off uh, some flaming, because I'm probably not going to be able to do much. Uh, I am going to redeem the cube coupons or packages eventually, but I would rather wait for the month reset so I could do the reward point cubes and those cubes at the same time. So that's where it's going to go. So uh, the rainbow flames, they are going to go on this pat mark. Gonna see if I could end up with something that is sellable. Uh, if that was all stat, would that have been sellable? I don't know, because attack doesn't change on the transpose. So... Nope. And no, unfortunately. Alright. Now, the red flames, I'm actually gonna use them on my kind's gears, just because I do need to work on them and hopefully get them done before uh, Kind comes out. So I am simply just looking for a good two-liner, so anywhere around the range of like, say 40 and 4-ish. Also, that's quite a lot of uh, int, what? Um, so hopefully, oh, that's a 20 and 4. That's an improvement, but it's not what I'm looking for. That is still my we weakest flame out of the Absolabs, ah. And I get nothing. Holy shit, what the hell is this? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is the worst looking damage can ever. Oh, my God. Emma, please, please, please make that face an emote. <laughs> Alrighty, I have finished all of my three X's off, and uh, I am not going to be training anytime soon. I don't know, the EXP rates at uh, the library in Cernium, and I, I would assume in Hotel, is going to be really, really nice. But you will need the Authentic Force, so that will probably give me a cushion between leveling up my kind and... Uh, my hero. And because I'm deciding not to train right now, I feel like it would be a good time to sort of just re-optimize my hyperstats and remove all the points I have on bonus EXP for now until uh, when Neo comes back up. Let's go ahead and do this. I looked this up ahead of time so I know the numbers I'm looking for. So I want 12 on crit damage, 10 on ignore, 12 on damage, a whopping 14 on boss damage, 7 on attack, 4 on strength, and finally 3 on dex. So I guess now is the proper time to confess that I've been doing all my bossing and black mage runs and all that stuff with 10 levels of bonus EXP. So I wasn't completely optimized for the Black Mage fight, but hey, it still went well either way. This change does mess up my calculator a little bit, so this loadout is actually only going to be temporary. Uh, I am going to go back to having at least 10 levels on bonus XP. I might even go for more. So it's off to more V Hilla training finally after all of that training and stuff and I am excited so uh, 
off to practicing I go. One thing uh, I learned from last practice is I want to try and manipulate her and her teleports. So I want to make sure I do this right. Keep her down there. Alright, bind. Bell is on the one. That was a really bad buff. Rebind. I got clipped. Do I have time? I have plenty of time, so I, I'm just gonna let it ride for now. Alright, now would be a good time to start uh, getting hit. So there's another one. And I want to get a hit away from her. There we go. So now I want her to TP here. Perfect. There we go. Okay, yeah. And just in time. Perfect. Oh god, I got hit. I have time. It's just gonna be really, really, really tight. So I have to get her here. And then I have to get the string really, really quickly. And then this is perfect because I want her to TP out. Yeah, just like that. And now I run. Oh no. That's really bad. This is also really, really bad. Yep. Ah, uh, yeah. That one big fuck up. Oh, th that was one huge fuck up. Behind. Oh my god. That was like a much worse run, damn it. It's okay. At least it was a practice run, but damn. I definitely played that so much worse. Alright, so here we go. Summon the altar first. Get her to TP. TP, 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 TP. Alright, she TP'd. Now we go for the altar. Oh no! No! Oh my god. Alright, there we go. Get her over here. Okay, perfect. Now I have time to mash as hard as I can. Okay, I got it. All right. Uh, I want to get hit here. And now I want you to TP right there. Perfect. Okay, go, 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 go. Damn it, I was so close. How did that hit me? What? Excuse me? Okay, TP. TP over here first, please. TP. TP. Why aren't you TPing? You bitch. I'm dead. Yep. Oh. Oh, shit. Shit. so horribly wrong at any point in time. Oh my god. Why? Why does it have to be? Why does that always have to happen? Fuck. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh, I was... Okay, well... You, you know what? That's alright. Almost all of her HP, and I lasted, like, pretty long. This was my best run yet. Okay, so, like, there's obviously, like, shit I really have to clean up, especially in that last phase. But I think I can do it. Like, genuinely, I think I can. Ah. Uh. 
No, I was so close. A little quick talk though, because I am a little bit uh, annoyed by it. I decided to move my NPC chat key to this spot, the tilde key. Oh, he said it. He said the guild name. <laughs> Normally I have it here. I think I'm also going to replace shout with uh, leap attack. Normally I use uh, the key command for it. So downward and normal attack. But I realized that when I was mashing for the altar that the position of uh, equals for NPC chat key is just really, really bad for my wrist. I did try earlier, not, I didn't do it in Vihila, but I just tried getting used to not having jump on alt or control. I can't do it. It's just, I, control will always be my main attack for a character. So that's always like gonna be there. And then alt is always jump. So I, there's no way out of it. it I, it's too embedded into my muscle memory. So those are the couple of changes I have at the moment. And I'm hoping to develop a lot more stuff along the way during these practices. So when I go do the clear, I can do it within the two days. Otherwise, I'll just lose the run for the week. And then my party will have to five man again. And serves them right for peer pressuring me into having a smaller time constraint. <laughs> <laughs> I really gotta respect those dead bodies a lot more. Damn it. Oh god, I'm I'm so dead here. Never mind, I'm good. Do I even wanna keep going with this run? I feel like this run's a throw. Nah, I should keep going. In front again. Oh. Okay. I need a, I need a string. Shit. That's a good GG. Fuck. Hey, I did it. I did I did the thing. Oh, I could instead of iframe, I could have up jumped. Yeah. Like that. Oh no, please no, not this again. It's on a body and everything too, fuck. Smash, 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 smash! Oh, okay. Not a second too soon either, holy shit. Holy shit, in front. Ow, in front again. Oh my god, okay, there's the TP, she wants the blue, she's down on the edge. Good, we are very close. Just make sure you're doing the same thing you're doing. There we go. Okay, so that was a two skull clear. I'm getting like less tilted on the string stuff, but holy shit, the, do I feel like I have a lot to work on. All right, here's how I want to close out the episode. Uh, my Evan has been my primary coin farmer for the big items because I knew I had a whole bunch of stuff to deal with for Kine. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use the red cubes, the black cubes, and the B pots I'm gonna hold on to for now, but it is gonna be on my shopping list, but I'll save it for another time. I'm gonna craft the flame as well, since I can. I am going to flame my Kine's gears. This all should be in a Kine video, but I'm just too lazy about it. Ah, oh, 60 and 3. Uh, but... All of these cubes are mostly gonna be for my kind. Well, to be specific, just half of these because I really have nothing to red cube. So I'm gonna try and tear up uh, this glove with reds. Since Kind's weapon and secondary and emblem aren't out yet, I can't really work on those. So I'm just gonna do the uh, glove here and just hope I tear up. You, I sh It's not really used for tearing up, but it's like, Oh, uh, whatever, you know? Okay, nothing there, but uh, black cubes, though. Black cubes, uh, we're gonna go out for the shoulder again here, so we're hoping to get that 33. Uh, I, w I was considering to uh, use it on the glove and whatever, but nah. Okay, well... There goes the event cubes. Uh, no luck. Anyways, though, I hope you enjoyed watching this one. I'm not really sure what happened, because 
I'm, I'm kind of in a daze here. Just so much Vihilla practice has been done that, like, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore with recording an episode. I just want to get this done so then, like, the solo is genuinely the last thing I really, really have to focus and stress about. I know I keep saying, like, there's just one last thing to worry about over and over again, but it's just, like, all of these, like, different departments of Maple that are, like, one last thing. Like, the 22 stars is the funding part of one last thing, getting the Vihilla solo is the bossing one last thing, and then probably doing the Genesis weapon and cubing it and flaming it is also one last thing. There, there's just like many, many one last things to do, and I'm like so excited to get all of them done, even though they will take a while. But either way, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode, and uh, next one's gonna be a doozy, and I hope I will uh, not have to worry about editing and stuff like that until I get the clears and whatnot. So I hope you all enjoyed watching one more time, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, take care. Bye-bye.